see if you can work this out. Um, you're on a mysterious planet. Um, the length of the string is um, is 12 meters. Um, the time that it takes to do one swing there and back is two seconds. Okay. Um, what is the gravitational pull of this mysterious planet? So um, always start with this. T equals 2 pi uh, root L over G. So work out G, the gravitational pull of this mysterious planet. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so um, yeah, leave, leave the substitution in at, at the end. Don't, don't substitute these in yet. Let's, let's, uh, let's leave it to the end. So now visualize this as one bubble multiplying this bubble here. So divide both sides by 2 pi. So t over 2 pi. On this side it will be root l over g. What's left of it. Uh, and now, and now square both sides. So this will be t squared over 2 pi, uh, sorry, over, uh, over 4, 4 pi squared. Okay, on the, on the right hand side it will be L over G. Now, G's at the bottom, so, um, oh, here's another way of doing it. You don't have to take the reciprocal, you can, you can multiply both sides by G. So this will be like this, T squared G over, uh, 4 pi squared, and what's left on the right hand side will be L. Okay, so you're killing off the, the, uh, the G. Uh, um, yeah, you're killing off the G because uh, it's at the bottom. Um, now, um, you, you visualize this as this. One thing divided by uh, the, the bottom bubble. So divide, so, so here, kill off the bottom bubble because you want to get G on its own, but G is stuck in this bubble at the top. So, so kill off this bubble here. So multiply both sides by, um, by the bottom bubble. So uh, it would be this, T squared, G, and then you've got 4 uh, pi squared L, or or you can write it as 4 L pi squared. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, and now visualize this as this, one bubble, and then this here. So now kill of this T squared. So divide both sides by by um, by T squared. So that th this will be G, this will be 4 pi squared L over T squared. Okay, because because when you're here, you're dividing both sides by t t squared. But my point is that when when you're up here, um, to get to get g on its own, let's let's get it to the top. Uh, so take the reciprocal of both sides. So so here we would do, we would have this four pi squared over t squared equals uh, g. The reciprocal of this would be uh, g over l. Okay, now now that g g's on top, which is good. Just kill off what's on, what's at the bottom. So times both sides by, by L. So you have this 4 pi squared L over T squared equals G. Now, we, we did this in two steps. Um, well, when you're, when you're here, you can, you can multiply G to both sides. So in effect, you're moving the G across and then move this back here and then, and then divide this. Well, anyway, you could use this method here, but it takes uh, it's it's a lot more work and it's um it's a lot more hassle. So so when you're here, um, take the reciprocal of both sides so that g could be on top, and then you kill off what's at the bottom. Um, taking the reciprocal is better, by the way. Okay, so um so we're here. Oh, n now now we've got a formula for g. Okay, g equals this. Back to our original thing, um, our original situation here. The, uh, the, the t, the time it takes to make one swing is two seconds. The length of the string is, um, is 12 seconds. So let's, let's put it into here. So, um, so tw 12 is the time, 12 seconds is the time that it takes to make one swing. And, uh, l is, um, two, two meters. Okay. The, the length of the string. So let's, let's put it into here. Hang on. So this will be 4 pi squared. The length of the string is 2 meters. Okay. And uh, what? The length of the string is what? No, the length of the string is 12 meters. Sorry. Um, and the, so, sorry. So, so, so the length of the string is 12 meters. If, here. The length of the string is 12 meters. I, I made a mistake there. Sorry. Uh, the time it takes is 2, 
two seconds. Okay, so the length of the string is uh, 12 meters. So we're putting this, we're putting 12 into the L. Okay, the time it takes is two seconds. Uh, I know, I, I made a mistake, sorry. Um, so here, uh, T equals two. So you put the two, the, the, you put the two into the T here. So it becomes this. Now, um, now, now let's, let's merge the two numbers here together. So, um, 4 times 12 is 48 pi squared, and 2 squared would be 4. Okay, um, so, so now, um, um, oh, divide top and bottom by, by, uh, by 4. Okay, so, so dividing top and bottom by 4. Um, so, so, uh, so, so this would be, uh, 12 pi, squared over one okay what what i'm saying is that this fraction here is the same as this one here okay well 12 pi um tw 12 pi squared divided by one anything divided by one is the same thing so so it's, it's this okay so you can imagine this as a bubble divided by one just equals this bubble here so um g overall g equals this for our for our situation so um so so all, all we need to do is just get pi, uh, pi, where is it, pi squared, uh, and then times 12. That's all we need to do. Equals, uh, equals, whoa, g, g is 118. Okay, let me check. 118. So g equals 118. So, so the gravitational pull of this planet is, um, is, uh, uh, G equals one one. Uh, sorry, what was that? One one eight. One one eight. Yeah. So, so sorry. So so the gravitational pull of this is is one one eight. So remember, Earth is nine point eight. Moon is one point six two two. Jupiter is uh, is. Um, uh, 23 point something. So this planet is mass. It's actually, it's very big. Um, gravitational of, of, um, Jupiter is 23, but this planet here has a gravitational pull of 118. So, so you can guess. Remember, our gravity is related to mass 1, mass 2 over r squared. This is, this r, this r here is like the, um, the, the radius of, of this planet. So, so you can, you can, you, you can guess that this planet here, this mysterious planet here, is, um, is really, really, uh, it, ha it has a high mass. Um, the heaviness of this planet is, is pretty high to have a gravitational pull of 118. Okay?